In this video, we will practice graphing logarithmic functions such as this one. The main thing to remember when you're graphing logs is to start with the y values. And I like to start with the values negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now, as far as the chart goes, we're just going to do the parent function. So the parent function here is y equals, and I'm going to ignore the plus 2 and the minus 4 and even the negative sign. So this would just be y equals log base 1 -third of x. That's the parent function. Now we already have the y values, so what we need are the x values. Um, we can make an equation for x values by rewriting this in exponent form. So the base is 1 -third, so let's start by writing down 1 -third. Now the x and the y sort of switch sides of the equation, so the x will come over here, and the y is going to become the power. Okay, so this right here is um, the same function but written in exponent form. So in this form, it will give us the x's. So the x's will all equal one third to the y power. So that means I'm going to be doing one third to the negative two power and one third to the negative one power, one third to the zero power, one third to the one power, and one third squared. Well, one-third squared will just be one-ninth. Square the one, square the three. Anything to the first power is just itself. Anything to the zero power is one. And then the, the next two will be the reciprocals of these two. So this is one-third, so the reciprocal of that is three. This is one-ninth, so this will be nine. Also, uh, another way to look at it I'll take one third to the negative two power, for example. If I have one third to the negative two power, when you do a negative power to a fraction, it's the same thing as taking the reciprocal and doing the positive power. So the reciprocal of one third is three, and three squared is nine. Again, if I do one third to a negative power, you do the reciprocal, which is three, and then do a positive power. 3 to the 1 power is 3. Now, sometimes we need a third column when there is an A value. So there is an A value, even though it's just negative 1. All right, we need to deal with this negative sign here in the front. Think of it as multiplying by negative 1. So we will create a third column any time there is an A value in front. And we will make that third column by doing the A value times Y. So multiplying by negative one just changes all the signs. So this will be two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. So we have a brand new Y column so we can throw this out. So let's go ahead and plot these points, nine comma two, etc. So that's right 9 up 2. So that'll be right here. Over 3 up 1. Right 1 up nothing. Over 1 third and down 1. Alright, over 1 third is just barely over at all. And then 1 ninth is so small it's going to appear to be on the line. All right, so these five points are the parent function um, reflected, o reflected over the x-axis. What we haven't done yet is uh, we haven't done the translations. So let's remember that the uh, positive 2 right here is going to shift us to the left 2. All right, this is going to be always left-right motion, the opposite of what it looks like. So positive 2 will be left 2. And this is going to move us down 4. So we will move each of these five points left 2 and down 4.
Okay, so left two down four would be here, and then this one will be just here. Okay, left two down four is going to be here and here. Left two down four is going to be here. All right, so these five pink points are these five purple points shifted left two and down four. Now remember, there was a vertical asymptote. Originally, it was here at the y-axis. Since we moved the entire graph left two, the vertical asymptote is going to also move left two. Show the vertical asymptote as a dotted line. Okay, so there's your vertical asymptote. Now all we need to do is draw the curve uh, approaching the asymptote. Um, don't forget that the function will never reach the vertical asymptote. It's going to curve and get closer and closer but never reach it. But when we draw it, it will look like it's tracing it on the end here because it's just too close to see a part. Okay, so your final graph should look something very much like this. Let's do one more. All right. So one more uh, log graph. Again, let's start with the y values. And let's always start with negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So, let's start with only the parent function. So, let's ignore the plus 4 and the 3 for now. So, that means the uh, parent function is y equals log base 2 of x. If I rewrite this in exponent form, focus on the 2 because that's going to be my base. The x and the y will change sides, so I will we'll have x equals 2 to the y power. This is what I will use to find these x's. So x will be 2 to the y power. So that means 2 to the negative 2 power, 2 to the negative 1 power, 2 to the 0 power, 2 to the 1 power, and 2 to the second power. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 1 is 2. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Reciprocal, reciprocal. So 1 half and 1 fourth which also makes sense because 2 to the negative 2 power the negative power drops you down to the denominator so that would be 1 over 2 squared which is 1 over 4 similarly 2 to the negative 1 power again that negative power drops you down to the denominator so that would be 1 over 2 to the 1 power which is 1 half okay um, because there is an a value of 3, we will need a third column. All right, and that third column will be the a value times the y values. So if I multiply all these by 3, I will get negative 6, negative 3, 0, 3, and 6 we can throw out the old y column and use the new. All right, so let's go ahead and plot these points from the chart. Okay, so right 1 fourth down 6. So right 1 fourth is going to be barely over at all. All right, something like that. Um, right 1 half down Three, so that should be right in the middle. Okay, right one, and then nothing. Right two, up three. So right two, up three. And right four, up six. 
So right four up six. Okay. So these are the five points we will use to draw the graph. Um, do not draw these points yet because we haven't done one thing. Um, the plus four has not been taken into account. Now, is this plus four going to send us up, down, left, or right? This plus four, notice how it is not in parentheses. So it is not a left-right number. If there had been parentheses around this, then this would be left four, because you know how it would be the opposite of the way it looks. But without parentheses, you can think of it as being like this. All right, so there, there is no left-right motion. This plus four is an up four translation. Okay, so we need to move each of these five points up four, and that will be the final graph. Okay. Okay, so these pink points are what you get if you uh, translate the parent function up four. So um, let's draw the asymptote and draw the curve. So your final graph should look something like this.